Hi, it's another fantastic day in Cota de Casa, Orange County, California. Today is Christmas, December 25th. So Merry Christmas. We're on the 18th fairway of our North Golf Course. We have fantastic weather. My friend uh, Caleb says all these little clouds, they're formed by airplanes. So that's what he says. Anyway, we have our Arroyo Willow here. Here we have a sycamore. It's a coast live oak tree. But today's little plant is California sagebrush, Artemisia californica. It's a member of the Asteraceae family, so it's related to sunflowers and daisies. So let's take a closer look here at our beautiful little shrub. It's super, super common out in. Uh, California Chaparral. I'm gonna get my shadow out of the way here. Get a better look. So it starts out down here as a single stem in the in the ground. And they branch out to multiple stems here. And they're very slender, they're very flexible, as you can see. And they're hairless, or sometimes they're just a little, little bit fuzzy, but not much. And they break out into these pretty leaves here. I'll pull one off and show you these great leaves. Now they can get about four inches long. They're uh, pinnately divided. You got little thread-like lobes on them. Okay, and the leaves here, they're a little bit hairy. They're light green to gray in color. And then they tend to curl under. See how they kind of curl under like that? So that's cool. And up here, we have this uh, inflorescence of flowers, right here. They're a little bit leafy. They're narrow, and they're pretty sparse. But this is an Asteraceae, so each one of these little flowers here is actually many, many flowers in one, with all the stamen, the anther, the pollen, all that wonderful stuff. And they're a little bit reddish. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, and these will eventually seed, produce little fruits that are resinous uh, achenes. They get about 1.5 millimeters long. Okay, and this plant here is a terpene, so it has a uh, like a almost like a turpentine aromatic flavor or flavor odor that's very typical of our California chaparral. So this shrub here, he's native to Western California, Northwestern Baja California. It's endemic to California chaparral and our oak woodlands. It's all oak trees, it's called an oak woodland. We have a stream down here, community. So you find these um, all the way from like sea level, almost up to 2,600 feet in elevation. All right, and uh, medicinally, well, is it edible or does it have medicinal properties? So the uh, local natives, they use this to treat coughs and colds, and you can chew the leaves here. You can dry them up, or you chew them up fresh, and it's used uh, by the women to help with some uh, female concerns that I won't get into and also help to induce childbirth. How about that? Things like menstrual cramps and other things like that. The ladies used to use this plant for that. Okay, you could also uh, grind it up and make it into a really good pain reliever. Okay, and um, you could also apply it to uh, you know painful spots on your body and it helps with arthritis, sprains, and strains. But this is a super, super textbook plant out in our California chaparral. I'll take a, another look at this one up here. In the sun, you see how beautiful this green foliage is on this plant. But you gotta be quick, because all this foliage will die off. It'll turn all brown, like I said. And these flowers, 
although you can't really tell how beautiful they are, they're actually quite fantastic. Isn't that great? And it's super prolific and uh, the seeds will be super fertile and spread this plant around our community. So that's our California sagebrush, Artemisia californica. There you go. So Merry Christmas. I hope you liked that video. Have a great day. Bye.